So today I'm going to show you many, many Dollar Tree Valentine's DIYs that I hope you enjoy with all of the goodies I found. So let's get into the first one. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. This first DIY was inspired by Tater Tots and Jello.com off of Pinterest. I found these containers she made and I want to do something similar. Thought it was really cute. I've never really seen something like this. So I have four Dollar Tree items. Um, you just need two containers um, of your choice. I tried to remove most of the sticker on the bottom and I'll just have to use Goo Gun right now. What I do is apply a little bit. I pour some on top and I kind of like rub it around there and let it sit for a little bit and then it just comes right off. And then I have two different sized candle holders. So I've decided to go ahead and use this suede paint. As you can tell, it's like a khaki color. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called khaki. So I'm gonna use this paint and I'm going to paint the lids and uh, the candlesticks, the whole thing. And so I'm gonna have them set up like that with this on top. I cut out this word love um, from my Cricut. It's backwards right now because I already applied it to the transfer tape and I don't want it to stick to the table. So I'm going to go ahead and use LV on one and OE on the other. What you can do is add anything inside of these that you'd like, anything colorful or not, um, even ornaments, like these ornaments from Dollar Tree have pink and red ones. You can add those in there, whatever you like. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add these heart marshmallows inside. These marshmallows would be so cute if you made hot chocolate and added them to the top. And then just add hot glue and E6000 to connect the two. So I'm going with it like this, like I told you earlier, but you can also do it this way, whichever way you like. For the next one, I have this love sign. Of course, I'm not going to use this side because it has a bunch of glitter and everything. So I'm going to turn around the back side and remove the sticker. I wish they would just add a tag or something because sometimes this is hard to remove. So I'm probably going to have to use the blow dryer again. They came out with these little cute envelopes. They're galvanized, which is really good. And the quality is pretty good. So, um... I thought these were really cute even for regular decor after Valentine's you might want to pick up a couple of extra ones if you have an idea on how to use them you can just remove the uh, glitter and remove the little bow and or you could just cover that up or you know something think of something so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the sticker try to remove this I think I can just sand that down and then we will add them on here for a little sign. So I have my sign right here ready to go. 
I went ahead and sanded down the hearts. That's as much as I can get off. But I also remembered that I'm going to be putting things inside of here and it's going to cover it up anyways. And then, of course, I removed the bows. I'm going to use my white apple, apple barrel paint to paint this whole thing. And then I believe I will add a border around this and I'll show y'all how I do that. You can use whichever size craft sticks you want. I'm gonna use eight of these, let me see it, they're giant craft sticks from Walmart. And I'm going to paint them a pink color. Again, you can do whatever color. I'm gonna mix a little bit of red with white because I don't have pink. I'm gonna go ahead and put the craft sticks around it and figure out um, where I need to cut and then I can paint them. And I'm gonna use my mailboxes in the center as templates so that way I will leave enough room for them. So I decided to do it this way instead of vertical just because um, I liked it better and I usually do lots and lots of different signs horizontally instead so I wanted to do something different and I just realized I forgot to cut off this part so I'll do that real quick. I am going to add these up here like this just enough so the little envelope fits. And then what we're going to do is add flowers inside. I'm going to go with some Dollar Tree hydrangeas that I, honestly, I've been using these ever since I started YouTube about, um, let me see, in December it was four years for me. And I still love using the, these. They're very uh, pretty to use all year. And uh, they're also very good for spring. And spring's coming up, so I'm going to add... So since I glued this one down, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to pull one off from the stem, add two of them to one side. And then what I did was take a piece of book paper from inside of a book, and they're just Dollar Tree books. I have tons of them. And so, of course, I don't read them. I just have them for decoration. So I tore out a page and since these are envelopes, I thought it would be cute to kind of stick them on the side. So there are many ideas and ways to um, do this. So I thought that kind of uh, made it look a little more neutral since there's so much pink going on. So that's what I'm going to do to each of them. That's right, I'm gonna decorate a mini white Christmas tree from, you know, Christmas time. And what I'm gonna use is some pretty little ornaments. I have these red ones and pink ones. So I'm gonna use those. Okay, so to make the heart at the top, what I did was use some tube from from some dollar store, um, but they usually do put some out from time to time at Dollar Tree. And then you need some pipe cleaner, it doesn't matter what color, just depending on how you want it to look. Since I have red pipe cleaner, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So you want to stick it all the way through and leave some of the tube at the top and bottom. So there's gonna be more tube than pipe cleaner. Okay, so I have some of the tube sticking out from both sides. What you want to do is make sure 
um, when you twist at the bottom, you twist the pipe cleaners. That way it stays in place, just like that, that easy. And then you make your heart. So wherever the middle's at, you can crease it. And then depending on how you want your heart to look, you can play around with it. So I'm gonna add some of these around the tree. And then that will be pretty much be it. So maybe like right here, and then I will tie it around one of the branches. For this next DIY, I am making some Dollar Tree dies, and I got these in the toy section. So hopefully this works and the paint sticks because I'm going to paint these white. I was actually inspired by this one from Etsy. She has some really cute wooden dice and um, her name on Etsy, in case you want to look her up, is Suburban Farmhouse LLC. And I just thought it was a really cute idea. So we are going to paint them white first. So now my dice are all dry. I did about three coats. I took out a bag of just a bunch of different hearts. I have all these hearts from the Dollar Tree, just different stickers. I have some felt ones, some regular ones, um, just different kinds. So I'm going to just hot glue them on here. I have them spread it out. So I just Googled up how the dice is laid out as far as the numbers go and now I'm just gonna just go by how they have it <clears throat> so it goes like one three six and four and then five and two so even though they have the little sticky side where you can remove this and add it I'm still gonna hot glue it down This next one is really fun, but really simple to do. What I did was take some styrofoam balls. You can get whatever size you want. I already made one little bouquet of roses. This is how small the styrofoam ball is to create this one. So if you wanna go bigger, that's um, completely your choice. So what I did was just add two different kinds of roses from Dollar Tree. I added these two. This is like a tea rose, it says, and then just regular rows. So I'm gonna move this one to the side and what I did was use those two colors. So I'm gonna use red and this tea rose one. So all I did was just take two of them and I removed all of the roses from the stem. Just take one of these and instead of just sticking it in there, it will be better if you add hot glue. So I'm gonna take one, add hot glue, and then stick it in. Because if you just put it like that, it won't stay. And then kind of spread it out. And then for the next one, I choose the red one. And you just want to rotate the colors 
and go next to it. Don't worry too much about the placement because um, I'll show you how to fill in the gaps if you see the styrofoam. So once you have it one time all the way around, then you can fill in um, the both sides. So there is going to be a little gap left at the bottom, so that way you can sit. I left a little gap right here, and you can't even tell because it's going to sit like that. Here we have the gap right there. So now when you're done and you see little gaps of the styrofoam, of course you don't, that does not look pretty. So um, it's very easy. All you wanna do is just grab some petals and glue them together to fill in those spaces. For this next one, as you can see, I have some hearts and more of my craft sticks. I just put a bunch of um, different hearts that I had bought over the last couple years from Dollar Tree, and they're all different sizes. And I grabbed three of them of different sized ones. So I have, you know, a larger one, a medium one, and then the smallest one. I'm going to glue this onto a craft stick, but I don't think I can use this one because it's too it's too thick but before doing that what i want to do is paint the two hearts i'm going to leave this one galvanized and then this one i'm going to do like a pink gingham a gingham print or um, buffalo check print and then this one i think i'm going to paint it white okay so to create the gingham print on here I, I just need the white, which is already the base coat on here, and then I need a dark pink and a light pink. So I went on Pinterest and just Googled pink, um, like buffalo check, and this came up, so I just screenshot it. That way I can look at the pattern. So as you can see, they have the white, which I already have, and then the dark pink and the light pink. So all I did was just mix white and red paint again, and... I added a little bit more red in this one. That's all I did. So now what I'm going to do is take a ruler and a pencil and you're going to just create squares on here. That way I know where to paint the colors at. So I'm going to start off with doing a line or a row and it's going light pink, white, light pink, white. So I'm going to do that right here and then the following row would be next to the light pink is going to be dark pink, light pink, dark pink. Light. So you just follow along like that. That's what's easiest for me.
And now to glue these together like the way I have it right now. I mentioned I was going to use these Dollar Tree craft sticks. So I think I only need one. I'll go ahead and do two like this. So I'm just going to add my hot glue, glue these two together like that, glue this on top. 